everyone, it's Rise. Welcome back to Let's Play Odin Sphere. Well, today we're gonna oh, open up the book again. Pick up where we left off. I have uh, repositioned the microphone and uh, upped the volume input, so we'll see how it works. Uh, it was very low compared to the ah uh, bit the compared to the uh, video uh, the in-game audio, but you know, uh oh, yeah. See, this is what I was talking about before, where sometimes you get these uh, enemies to spawn, just ignore them. Um, uh, not where I want to go really. I think it's that shop that I want to get to. But. Yeah, so hopefully this will boost it better. I mean, I can still adjust it in editing, but it's still annoying. <laughs> hopefully it'll be a little better this time. Oh, okay, yeah. See, these bees... Ow. You're not supposed to get hit by the bees. That's embarrassing. They're like the easiest enemy ever to avoid. Every time you hit the, the nest there, uh, a bee will come out. And if they hit you, they usually poison you. I just got a little lucky there that they didn't. But yeah, you just take out the nest, and uh, you'll kill the bees. Uh, if there's more than one nest, you have to kill every single nest to take out any bees. The, even if they came from the nest that you just killed. Oh, they're walking. Best time to take them out. Let's see. Keep this little pause there. Very good. Let's go ahead and get a little cyclone going. Uh-oh. Like, watch. I'll kill this bee's nest, okay, well, I'll kill this bee's nest, and you see the bees didn't die like they did before, because there's, well, other bees now. You could also use that to take it out, but that takes too long. The bees die in one hit, by the way, so they're not really that threatening. Uh, they're just kind of a, a nuisance enemy. They kill you with poison, not with outright damage, so... Pretty easy to avoid. Uh, if you get too far away from the nest, they'll uh, actually retreat back into the nest, which is good. I'm gonna get a four rank from time anyway, so I might as well just absorb these before they disappear. Uh, not bad, not bad. Probably uh, a B rank if I had to guess. Yep, a B rank. Not bad. Sorry, it's a long train. It happens every damn time I start to record. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, let's see. We got some napalm. That's good. Um, we actually we can't make painkillers yet, can we? If you forget what recipes you have, uh, you can see them here. Nope. There's one for every letter of the alphabet. Yeah, I'm gonna plant that mulberry seed. Uh oh. Okay, this guy. When he bends his knees like that, he's gonna... Uh-oh. When he bends his knees, he's going to, uh... Jump. Like that. And he pretty much homes in on you, so... Now, when he's... When he's gonna rear back here, when he does that, he's going to attack twice by extending his mouth. Really bizarre. And you do not want to get hit by that, because it's a guaranteed double hit if you get hit by the first one. And this is why you don't run up and combo enemies! See, I screwed up. Best way to take- Okay, if he lifts his tail up, he's gonna throw those little orbs at you, and they are poisonous. They're not too hard to avoid, uh, just stay in between them. Uh, the- If he lands on you, it's pretty much- You're dead. <laughs> ah, except for when that happens. I don't know how to avoid that that, uh, 
son of a bitch. When you just happen to run right in, when you jump and he fires the tail poison or whatever. Yeah, we know that. So, uh, first death. And, uh, yeah, you just restart the stage. Not a big deal. You don't lose any items or anything. You just have to redo the stage. But, um, really the, str the trick is get up to him. Hit him once to piss him off. Okay, we'll hit him again. He'll rear back. Jump over him. Full combo. Wait for it. Hit him once. Jump over. Full combo. Hit him once to piss him off. If he jumps, back away. Let him fire the tail bomb it. There we go. Find a safe place. Okay. I always have trouble with that. I didn't actually want to do that. Piss him off. Get behind him. I wouldn't worry about the other guys. Uh, this is going to be pretty tricky to... Oh, nope. He's going to do that. Stupid bear is pissing me off. Sometimes when you, he jumps down like that, you can get a couple hits on. I wouldn't get too greedy because unlike the first mini boss we fought there... Oh! Thank you, Mr. Bear. Okay. Attacking quicker than he usually does. Oh. What the hell? I didn't think that would actually hurt me. Yeah, I was supposed to jump over him, but... Oh. We got him. Pretty simple. And the bear is no threat, so... <laughs> Just take him out. And, uh, yeah, that should really be it. Now we, uh, heal up here. Ah, B rank. Could be better. Okay. The origin of sheep. In this game, sheep come from a seed. What else am I supposed to say to that, folks? <laughs> Let's go ahead and eat this, uh, hot cross bond to heal up. The guy's not really that hard, uh, poor showing of the fight, obviously. But, eh, could be better. You may not want to do a full combo against that guy, uh, maybe just the three hits, and then jump over and wait for him to, you know, attack. I want to get... I can find the... Did I not pick them up? Oh, I guess I didn't pick them up. Well, that's kind of annoying. Alright, let's try this again. Get a material 10 ready to go. If you don't collect uh, fruit fast enough and you leave it on the tree, it'll actually rot after some time. Um, but not a huge deal, really. Just something to be aware of. And actually, that can be used to our advantage uh, in the not-too-distant future. I'll show you that when the time comes. Alright, keep going. See what we got to deal with here. Uh, it's a two-star stage, so it shouldn't be too bad. Oh, Caratera. We want to save that uh, for our next painkiller, so... Uh, okay. Go ahead and do that for now. Free up some inventory. Okay, these guys. Uh, well, let's just go ahead and cyclone them. That ought to take them all out. Oh, uh, when those goblins die, uh, their knives will actually fly up into the air. That's an S rank. That's absolutely an S rank. It's an easy S rank, that's why I did that. Yogurt? Ah, right, okay.
yogurt is another alchemy recipe. We can't make it right now, but it's there uh, for later. I really don't want to use that uh, pheromet, but we have to. Another train? Let's go ahead and clear up some more inventory space. Let's go ahead and use that. Uh, we got a material zero. Take that. Ah, blizzard. That is a pretty useless item, but I'll get it anyway. And I'll pretty much put it to use right away. It's not very... I'll use it against the boss, I guess. It's not very useful, to be honest. It's very useful in heroic mode. But hey, cut it out! I'm an innocent not so you saw on the other difficulties. I'm just a nice goblin. Just don't ask where my wares came from. <laughs> okay. Well, do you have what I want? Son of a bitch! I went to the wrong one. Um. He sells materials, so if you want to get more of those, you can. I don't really think that's worth it, but. You know, you can. I may buy those if I have nothing better to do. So, before I go down to that stage down there, I want to try the other shop. Oh, is it a carrot here or an onion? An onion. Oh, my OCD is not going to let me uh, just walk away. Well, Sorry, Mr. Onion, I don't have anything I can possibly get rid of right now. With the Caratier, I would actually get rid of an Onion for a Caratier. Caratiers are hard to come by. And they're probably the most useful uh, Mandragora in the game. Don't speak on me, game. Good, no Mandragora. Oh, there was a Mandragora right there. Figures. Alright, here we go. We got another shop, so let's see what we got here. Oh, there he is. Why don't you buy something? You may be a famous Valkyrie, but you still get hungry out on the battlefield, right? Sure, dude. Uh... Oh, you don't have it either. Well, so that sucks. Um... You could buy a Saturn Brave, but... It bangle if you want, but 5% is negligible. I thought for sure this guy sold it. Huh. Well, so much for that idea. We must be at the next chapter, then. I don't have a list of what every merchant sells, and nor do I have it memorized. Well, that sucks. I literally have nothing I can possibly do until I can fuse some items away. Stupid inventory space problem. It's just... They're too tight on it. Carrot here? Of course, it's a carrot here. Well, I don't have a choice then. I'm gonna have to use something. I'm gonna have to use something. I do not know what to use. Screw it. What choice do I have at this point? Oh, of course. Of course. Yeah, if you... That uh, two there for the antidote actually did multiply with the four there, which is kind of weird. I don't know if that's intended, but it does work. That's another thing to keep in mind. So if it was like an antidote three, it would have multiplied a bunch of three. And of course, multiplying it by one doesn't really do anything. So let's see here, let's uh, let's give that Toxin a shot. Oh, that, that didn't quite do as effective as I was hoping for, actually. Uh-oh. Oh, I poisoned him. Uh, let's go ahead and plant the Bromat seed there. And these guys are irritating me, so... Cyclone! And because there's a butterfly, 
Cyclone. Thanks for the useless critical. <laughs> oh, of course. I get rid of my antidote and I run right into the knife. And I did it again. Oh well. Now we got a couple of sheeps here. I, like I said, sheeps come off the thing. I don't understand it either, but it is there. Can I get my antidote, please? Thank you. Okay. I could just wait, and normally, honestly, I'd recommend that you do just wait it out, but... Well, I don't really want to let you guys just sit there and do nothing. Especially since it's level 2? Are you kidding me? It's my own fault, but... Whatever. Antidote! Go ahead and drink that bad boy up. And we get that. Very excellent. Very excellent indeed. Oh, carrot here? Uh, onion. Before we do that, let's go ahead and kill these sheep. Sorry, Liz. Um, let's see. 50 experience. Let's go ahead and give that yogurt a shot. So any food we now eat will uh, double the experience that we get from it. So, pretty cool. Pretty useful there. And uh, since you can eat it multiple times, let's go ahead and do that. And you get a bone there that you can throw it into meat. It's incredibly worthless. I can't bother with it. Oh, there's the other sheep. Sorry, buddy. You die. Before the square's off. And let's just go ahead and eat it again. I was hoping that would level me up again, but I was wrong. Man, that's a lot of Mendragger. Oh, carrot here. Take that right away. Let's see what else we got here. We got an onion. Um, nothing really that exciting. I don't really have anything that I can possibly get rid of, so let's just keep advancing. We really need more inventory space, and I, was, I really thought they would let me have it at this point in the game, but I was wrong. Uh, Mandragoras always respawn, even if there's no enemies, by the way. They're random, so good way to get, uh... Mandragoras, clear every stage except the boss, and then run around until you get all the Mandragoras you want. So I'm not really concerned about onions, because they're so damn easy to come by, that I have no qualms passing them up. All the ones, not so much, but for now, eh, whatever. There's a five-star stage coming up, right? Yeah, up there. Um, almost at 20 minutes already. Oh well. Let's see what we got here. Let's see if we can beat this guy again. Same mini boss. Uh, you gonna. Nope, you gonna jump. Okay. Oh! Okay, this is the dizzy status ailment. Basically, rotate the deep. or not the deep pad, the analog stick, and you'll be fine. Jump closer to me. Or not. Now you're irritating me. Hey, if you're gonna do that. Oh, oh! Nah, I don't think so, buddy. Come on. Attack me. He attacks again. Very excellent. A uh, diving attack is another good technique against this guy. Does quite a bit of damage. You gonna attack? Nope. You're not gonna attack. Why'd you jump way over there? Am I gonna have a flawless run of this guy? That would be nice. Uh-oh. 
almost lost my... Oh, he did the double, uh, shot there. He doesn't usually do that. Oh, come on. I think I can get him. Nope, not quite. Well, time to finish him off with a good old-fashioned Cyclone. Any seed that I got the plant? Probably not. No. And that may not be an S rank because I took a long time. Uh, no, it might very well be. Yes. Very excellent. That was a much, much better showing of that fight. Uh, I don't really have rooms for antidotes right now, which really sucks. So let's see here. Um, I need to get rid of some of these materials. So for now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna plant this rose mile. We're gonna plant that mulberry that we just got. We're going to, if I can use this on this, okay, has one. Now I'll use this on this. Uh, this uh, fruit has a lot of experience, if I remember correctly. I hardly ever eat fruit after a while, so. Let's, let's get that antidote. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of this in the game. Get plus four. Very excellent. Unfortunately, we have to wait for... Wait. What the hell? I didn't plant the mulberry? I guess not. There we go. Is that it? Is that the sprout? Yes. It sprouts. Might as well absorb the rest of the photons for myself. Go ahead and... Uh, that up. And we'll go ahead and do that. And yeah, we'll uh, don't think there's anything else I can really do right now. I could get a 50 and then make another antidote, but nah, that's not really that worthwhile. And uh, we got a couple more stages left, but we'll have to save them for next time on uh, Odin Sphere. I mean, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of, lot of episodes like this, so. It is what it is. Let's see if there's any more. Oh, there's no Mr. Huh. Alright, hopefully next episode I will solve my inventory space, well, mitigate my inventory space problem, so. For now, this is Ryzen signing off. Thanks for watching.